Here's a quick run through my setup. I use um, a bunch of Dunlop and MXR effects. I also use Black Star Series 1 head. And a guy in Sweden called Jörn Elmquist built this for me. A company called Sound of Silence, that's his logo. So we, I used the Google Apps Ground Control Pro system. My basic setup is four different sounds. So like number one here is my crunch heavy rhythm. <laughs> Second one is usually clean. And then I can kick in these guys anytime I like. Now I have the carbon copy, MXR carbon copy. Along with the Univibe. That we use a lot for cleaner parts like. Like that. Third sound is more a, a crunch, old man's rock type of song. And uh, you have the lead song. And this is the war pedal, and I have a volume pedal as well because we use a lot of fade ins and fades out. And I like this volume pedal because this is my full on distortion distorted rhythm sound. But if I only have it like this it works like a tone knob so I can have I can go back and forth with this amount of distortion which you can do a lot of cool stuff with I think. In this pedal, I use like an expression pedal if I want to have more delay. Like so I can do an ambient noise with that. Tap tempo tuning pedal. And back here we have the actual amps. This is Stereo setup, but I use the Mona now. That's the amp I use in the black star, and this is the rack. So I got the pedals back here in a drawer. So the idea is to have a short signal path as possible to get the best tone. So up, all the cable that's up to the pedal board are more or less control cables, just so no audio is going up there, under, uh, except for the volume pedal. But that only kicks in when I activate it. So. We use uh, Line 6 wireless stuff and uh, Crybaby, Rackwalk, and the MXR power system supply for the power. That's about it.